Hi my friends, it's Maggie. Oh, I feel a bit flat today and I um, decided that I'd try and come and do a pour to get my good feeling back within myself. But in my preparation for my pour, everything that could go wrong possibly went wrong. The first thing was, was that I mixed some of this really, really nice glamour dust ultra fine glitter paint in sizzling red i don't know if you can see that how nice and glimmery and glitzy it is it's an art deco i mean a deco art so can't even talk properly i mixed it up for a little beer bomb experiment and i wasn't fully tentative and i mixed it with my white bottle of paint instead of my float troll something that I do rarely but it does happen from time to time subsequently my background color is going to be this funny looking pale pink where I've just made a decision to go forward and mix the rest of the white up with it um, we know fundamentally that glitter with paint does not show up so it could just look a bit gritty Nonetheless, it won't take away from the beer bomb experiment, which I'm um, doing. And this will be the background color, the funny kind of light pink color. I've already mixed my little color components here. This one, this color here is a Deco Art Metallic in Mink Pearl. I'm really attracted to the pearls and the metallics and the shimmers like many of us are. This color here is um, Glamour Dust Ultra Fine Glitter Paint. The color, it's a deco art one as well. It's called Limelight. Uh, all of these are mixed one part paint, two part flow troll, except for this one here which is my globals in pasto in deep sea so they're all pre-mixed and the thing that i've done to try and make my beer bomb a little bit more successful i have tried one or two before and they've just like flooded out with the white what i've done is i've glued my little shot glass here to the side and um, brought it up to flat level here so I'll layer my colors in here and then bring my white up to here I'm just doing it on an 8 by 10 so it's not a big pick not a big canvas at all by no means but I should be able to get a good idea of if this technique is uh, of bringing the cup up rather than letting it float in the cup is more successful for me I know many people have been getting great success uh, just plonking their cup into the white or the base color rather um, but I haven't I've just ended up with big covers of white and ended up swiping to have some nice reveal underneath which is all fine and fine except it really defeats the purpose of the technique doesn't it um, have I got anything else to add before I'm gonna start is that dry enough do you reckon oh, I don't know I might just turn you off and let that dry maybe another 10 minutes more just to make sure it can hold the paint I'm having one of those days where what can go wrong will go wrong so perhaps I should be acting a bit of prevention alrighty so I'll uh, turn the camera off and then I'll get the paints happening and then I'll turn you back on and we'll flip and we'll see how we go alrighty here we are back again I'm just gonna go for it and see how we go by the way my additive for my mixing was a bit of uh, coconut milk. Probably didn't need to add it considering the uh, small pour I'm doing, but nonetheless, let's see how we go. I'm a bit nervous because I really don't want the, um, the cup to sink. So I'm just gonna put in about this much of the white, <laughs> of the white, which is really pink. And I'm keeping this bit aside so I can just do the edges. And I guess with this next part, I should move quite quickly just in case the weight um, impacts and makes the, the little cup sink. 
So I'm putting my darker colour in first because I want that to come out last, followed by my nice little light. I can't remember what it was called. What was it called, that colour, guys? A pink, pearl mink. It was really nice. And this um, minty green. I wouldn't normally choose colours in this combo, but I've been seeing some really fabulous colour combinations around lately. And they're all using colours that you wouldn't normally consider putting together. And I think it comes in the notion of contrast, you know? We love contrast. We want to see contrast. I'm even wondering if I've put too much in. But anyway, what we can say about this experiment so far is that it's successful in holding this beer bomb up. I reckon I've got enough white paint in. Maybe I should put a bit more in. Oh, I nearly lost my canvas. Let's just put a bit more in. I'm sorry I keep calling it white. It's just because I'm so used to my background colour being white. Maybe it's a lesson for me to um, start using different colours in my background. Now, I'm flipping now. And as you can see, I haven't added anything uh, onto my canvas. Where's my little cup gone? Gee, I'm underprepared tonight. I bet you when um, the time comes for me to use my little flash, my, I've got my mini torch here, when it comes time for me to use it, I uh, probably will be out of gas because that's the kind of night we're having. Nonetheless, I've got a big few days coming up ahead and I wanted to have a bit of downtime for myself now. Um, pardon me, because I won't necessarily get a, get that time in the next couple of days, so just see how we go, hey? Well, this is quite a nice, funny pink colour, even if I say so myself. I wonder how my uh, beer bomb's going. Just scrape that bit out. Get a bit more down. Oh, really unco, aren't I? Okay. I just used the back of wooden chopsticks today. Couldn't even find my um, normal stirrers. That's how things are going. Nonetheless. Well, what I can tell you is that when I decided that I was just going to keep on mixing this base colour which I accidentally put the Art Deco super glamour dust colour into oh well, I added white into it thinking that it was um, pure float troll when I mixed it up I decided to add lots more flow troll and I can see the difference in this already that um, it's not covering the canvas nearly as uh, smoothly as what I would normally expect my white to do. But the other thing that I did, because I felt that I had made such a mistake, is that I decided to do the experiment where you add some of your silicon into the base colour. So that's what else is going on here. There's silicon in this base colour. Oh, I must be feeling not confident that I've got enough paint because look how much I'm stretching it over. It feels really funny, the paint mix. It's like almost gone into like a poster paint mix. Oh, but let's not uh, delay any further. Look how translucent it is or opaque. Or... I always get those terms mixed up. Someone will pick me up on it. There's always someone who um, is really helpful with the terms. Okay, ready? Are you ready? Am I ready? I'm gonna turn it and drag it this way. Here we go. It's a beer bomb. Ooh. Well, wow, hey. Not a bad color combo. Let's let this sit here for a minute and let's just watch this spread take its shape and form and as you can see and I can see we've got some really beautiful cell development 
and a really good clear definition of the negative space though I do struggle to call pink a negative space but I guess the notion of negative space means it's one color block not necessarily about what color it is it looks really really gorgeous and even as it's spreading um, I can see a real some really nice inner streaks and all of this down here is gorgeous lots of glitter coming up the pink is meeting what I've stretched out there which is really good because I don't think I'm going to have to do too much tilting though I'll do a little bit more onto this side even though this side needs it more unfortunately let's have a look at what's happened here so the cups held really well and that was just using some glue I probably should tell you which one uh, while that's doing its magic I'll get the glue to show you which glue The glue that was successful in getting those two cups together was this glue, ultra craft, ultra craft glue, ultra fast dry time. Bonds quickly, ultra strength, works on plastic, metal, it's permanent, gemstones. Oh, I think I've got it to use on kombuchas but haven't really got around to it yet. I must get onto that. I've got heaps of beautiful skins around the place and yeah okay well I like to give my um, paws a little torch before I do any kind of tilting and I'm really not sure why these days I do it I think I probably saw someone do it and it was a great idea this didn't really need a torch it doesn't well maybe I can't see the air bubbles because of how much glitters in there that's a real possibility too oh my god look can you see that it's a little spider there Oh, well, I'm sure it's already um, carved it. Let's see if I can take you in to see it. No, I can't. Well, you. Oh, never mind. Maybe I can bring you up to see it. I don't even know if you really do want to see it. Can you see it? Oh, golly. Don't we hate it when that happens? How did? Where did that even come from? We've be, all been watching. Did anyone see it come in? All right, let's take it out and sorry little spider a uh, untimely weird ass death that you would have never expected that's for sure all right not too much tilting is required I don't even really want to stretch these cells out too much because they've got great form I'll just make sure I've got over here covered oh hang on I do want to go over this way a little bit and see I'm a little, little bit indecisive possibly a bit like my mood I'm just going to bring that paint together over in the corner just to see what it wants to do when I've come back this side and I want to get a bit more over here remembering that I'm being cautious not to over tilt which I'm just about to over tilt now caught it just in time to keep some of those great big cells in shape get some more of that back onto the canvas and now let's sit that down and run my finger across the bottom guys remember to run your finger across the bottom of your canvas so that it stops the pull of any paint and it just means that you won't lose as much as what you are hoping well you're probably hoping not to lose any but you know we know that we do it just stops that it's like just like a weight there and so if there are minimal droops it can't pull down as much and therefore you won't lose as much paint off your canvas the covers are the covers the side it's covered really nicely um i feel like i want to do a little bit of a tilt this direction now oh i lost the side of me I think that's about all. I'm t I feel like I've stretched my uh, cells a bit out of shape and I don't like that so I'm going to take it back this side to help them get back to their regular shape of being nice and rounded rather than overstretched. And see my fingers have uh, been, oh, got a drop right onto the middle. 
I'm going to take my glove off and do a last little torch to get rid of any air bubbles that might have revealed themselves just during that last tilt. And there you go. A beer bomb with the cup that had been glued to the side. A very nice outcome and what I can say is um, I think I might have used a bit too much colour in my little beer bomb or it may just be that it's on a small canvas so I'll have to try on a bigger canvas. I do like the outcome. Nothing different so much than what I would have got if I just done what I my procedure is for a negative space um, still it was fun to do and I think that probably I would have liked a bit more of this island um, feel to it which possibly you get when the cup is in the middle of the like when your little shot glass is in the middle of the big cup that you'd get these island effects more so I'm going to try and have a think about how I can get my cup supported into the middle of the cup and it might create a little bit more of this island effect which is really really gorgeous and perhaps what a beer bomb is effect is more about. Um, well that's about it guys. I hope you're all doing well and that your pouring experiments are going beautifully and that you're creating things that are giving you a lot of pleasure make sure you pop past and say hello and do all those things that help keep everyone going like the thumbs up and subscribing and stay in the loop and share your love and your inspiration around and make sure that you follow a, a few people because we've all got lots of different ideas and different ways of working I'm going to take you off the uh, tripod now so close your eyes if you get a bit seasick so we can go in for a closer look here we go oh hello Floetrol our best friend so have a look at that huh it is pretty cool isn't it can you see the sparkles it's always such a bugger isn't it that you can't see the sparkles there's heaps of them they're really really shimmery not so much in the pink color that's all been painted over but here the, those bits that look a bit gritty they're actually sparkling and how's that for cell movement up there really good I find with some of the metallics you get this interesting kind of shaded look within its own self rivets let's call them rivets but up here is looking really gorgeous and that's about it, folks. Stay well.